At Spaces TV, we are all about getting inspiration from great design and great designers. Today, we are getting a special tour of a showcase that is put on every year by the Hertz Design Group. Each of Hearst's design publications, El Decor, Veranda, and House Beautiful, have selected one designer to decorate an entire apartment. But without any clients or any of their demands, the designers actually get carte blanche to express themselves. And that is why this exclusive photo op is called Designer Visions. I am here at 250 West Street in the El Decor apartment with the amazing, the fabulous, the wonderful Matthew Patrick Smythe. Uh, thank you. The apartment's created for two men. This is their home base. One works in London and the other one's on the West Coast and the Orient quite a bit. This is where they meet. This is where the center of their lives. I wanted something that functioned first, and then from that, that point, that's where I add layers of decoration on top. With their travels, they're able to pick up things and explore things, which is reflected here in the apartment as far as the design goes. I was trying to create lots of intimate spaces, but also a place where they could entertain and have parties. So when you walked into this space, it's a really big open space. What brought you to take the walls dark? Dark walls can work a couple of ways. It can also expand a space because you have this void. It almost works like white does. You know, your eye doesn't stop at the wall, it keeps, it keeps going. I also wanted to unify the space with a dark color because I thought it would let the architecture pop. The space needed some more definition. You're looking at different kinds of patterns, a lot of bold colors, strong pattern on the couch, strong pattern on the chair. Mm -hmm. How does this all come together for you? Well, you know, the, the key thing to interior design is balance. It, it's, about, it's about putting elements together and, and letting some of them stand out. I want to see the rest of the space. Okay. Let's do it. You know, so many people are working at home now and spending more time at home and on yeah. the computer. And, um, so, but I wanted an office that, you know, you could watch television or you could hang out here during the daytime so the chairs would be functional and, and good for working but also good for just relaxing. What would you say to someone who is like afraid to do something so bold? How would they incorporate this? I, I think you just jump in there and you take, you take the chance. Because once you do it, you'll realize it's, it's not as scary. Because no. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it comes out like this. It does, it does. And if you just trust your gut instinct, Go for it. This desk was really cool. I was up in upstate New York and I found this um, through a dealer, this steel drum. And it's a uh, 19th century industrial You're drum. Get down there. And, uh, <laughs> and we're great, great detailing with the grommets and, and I love it's the color. So cool. So he cut it in half for me and I used the two pieces to make a partner's desk. And it's this color is great just for a pop of one color in the room. Yeah. And it's all you really need in a room this size. Finding the bed really started the whole concept of the apartment. I was in Connecticut and it was an antique shop. And I had my eye on this doorway, this English Burg doorway for quite a while. And I was fascinated with the color and the coloring. And I always thought, what can I do with it? When I choose things, it's more about the silhouette of a piece and the overall profile. And I do like to mix more contemporary pieces with traditional, because I do think if they're of good quality, they, they bring out the best in each other. Once you saw this amazing piece, mm -hmm. how did the rest of the room come together? You know, when you find a piece like this and you work off of it, it's a domino effect and things fall into place, you know, as long as you keep your eye open. There we go. So this is what you've been hiding. Right, exactly. <laughs> Saving the best for last. You're not kidding. <laughs> wow. But, yeah, this was what they call an auxiliary space and um, wow. it's about 10 by 10, no windows. So I thought, okay, I'm going to make a courtyard, Moroccan, Turkish dining room out of this. It started with the wallpaper. This is a Schumacher wallpaper, and it's about five different pieces that get put together. It's almost like a geometry lesson, you know, installing it. But right. it's, and it, you know, it's just a lot of drama and a lot of bang. Somebody could do this with stenciling or paint colors. Um, you could do it with real tiles. You could do a mixture of tiles so and paint. Cool. Don't be afraid of your choices and, and things you like. Follow your instinct. Um, be sensible and um, edit. I mean, I think that's the main thing is editing. I, I try to do that at home myself, and I think it's about picking the best of what you can find. Well, you've most certainly done that here. This was incredible. Thank, Thank you. you so much for Thank showing you. us around. Fun. It was great fun. There are two other apartments from the Hearst Designer Showcase. Definitely check them out on Spaces TV. I hope you guys are as inspired as I am. Hi, guys. Love home and design? Make sure to subscribe to Spaces TV on YouTube.